Muffins are one of my favourite type of cake and they're, uh, they're really easy to make and they very rarely go wrong. Um, these cherry and chocolate muffins from Paul Hollywood are a little bit indulgent because you've got two lots of sweet in there but I think they're worth the effort. They're not that difficult to make as I say and they're really quick as well. From start to finish you can have these done in 35-40 minutes. That's including your cooking time. Let's get cooking and let's see how we turn some relatively simple ingredients into some fabulous looking cherry and chocolate muffins. First thing we need to do is to put our oven on. So we need to set that to 200 degrees Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit. Then we take 200 grams of softened butter. So all I did to soften this was to uh, just put it in the microwave for around about 10 to 15 seconds. It just softens it, makes it a little bit easier to work with. And that is uh, seven ounces of softened butter. So just less, if you're in the US, that's just less than two sticks. So it's like one and three quarter sticks of butter. We then add 150 grams of caster sugar. 150 grams is just a little bit over five ounces. It was around about 5.2 ounces. And then using a, a wooden spoon, or an electric mixer if you wish. Um, you want to cream the sugar and butter together until it is light and fluffy. If you keep working it, you will see the colour change. It, it'll go from sort of the butter colour to a lighter colour. So it takes a, a few minutes, but uh, yeah, don't, uh, don't rush the step. We need to make sure that the, uh, the butter and sugar is very well combined. I have had one or two questions in the past about why I don't use a mixer and the, the, the main reason I don't use a mixer is because if this was the, the, the mixing blade that your mixture would be stuck to it and you've got to mess around picking it off and you will lose some whereas if you use the wooden spoon all your mixture stays in the bowl so you're not going to lose anything. So I, uh, I think mixers have got a, a use for sure, but when I'm mixing cakes, I think it's better to do it by hand. I know we're not making a cake today, but it's cake, cake-like mixture. Okay, so that I think is well combined. Next thing we need to do is add our eggs one at a time. So these are four medium eggs. Now sometimes when you add eggs to your sugar and, uh, and butter mixture it can sort of curdle, can separate, but if you keep mixing it comes back together. And certainly when you add some flour it's going to come back together. So don't panic if it goes, if it looks like this as if it's curdling, it's not gone wrong. A little bit of shell in there, we'll dig that out, we don't, we don't want any crunch in our muffins. Not from eggshell anyway. So don't worry if it looks like that. It uh, that's fine. That's it's going to come together when we add the uh, when we add the flour. So I've been using salted butter. If you've used unsalted butter, now you want to add a, a, a pinch of salt to that. And in this bowl, I have two hundred grams of 
bread flour. So 200 grams is around about seven ounces of bread flour and to that you want to add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. That's baking powder, not baking soda. So these are half teaspoon measures. That's, that's three. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And then you want to add that. Add that to your egg mixture that we've just made. And you want to fold this in. So we're not wanting to beat too much. We don't want to start releasing any of the gluten in the flour. So we're going to go gentle with this and we, we fold the mixture in. And it should be a fairly wet mixture. And what Mr. Hollywood says in his book is if it's a little bit dry, like mine's looking, we're going to add a little bit of milk. Just a splash of milk. So that wants to be, I, I think, wants to be a little bit looser, a little bit runnier than that. So how much is a splash? I'm not sure. Let's have a look. I'll try and quantify what I'm putting in rather than saying a splash. I have a, I have a tablespoon here. Let's try. Let's try one tablespoon. See what, see what that looks like. needs to be a little bit runnier than this, a little bit sloppier. So let's add another okay I'm not going to add any more. I think that's I think that's fine. So we don't want to overwork this as I say if we if we start beating this flour mixture now some of the gluten will be released and the muffins will then turn to more like bread like and we don't want that we want the muffins to be light and airy so once combined that's it we're done the next thing to do is to take your chocolate and to chop it so traditionally you would use dark chocolate I actually don't uh, don't like dark chocolate I prefer milk chocolate so that's what I'm going to be using entirely up to you and you need 150 grams which is just over five ounces of of your chosen chocolate and you want to just chop chop that up that to our mixture and then we need to add our cherries so the, the the recipe calls for Morello cherries I can get them in the in the States but for some reason this week I couldn't get hold of any so I'm just going to be using normal cocktail cherries and you need a a 470 gram jar which 470 grams that's going to be almost a, a, a pound almost 16 ounces uh, so I had to use two small jars this is what I've used and uh, and you want to add all of them except for 12 you want to save 12 just to push in the top so I'm just going to pop 12 just pop 12 in there the rest go into our mixture and again, gently combine. We're not trying to beat these into submission. We just want to make sure that the cherry and chocolate is distributed evenly through our mixture. 
prepare a muffin tray you can use pre-done muffin uh, cases bun cases but what uh, what Miss Hollywood's done in his book he uses scrunched up parchment paper and I think it gives them a sort of rustic look I think they look quite nice so it's just a little bit uh, tricky just getting them all in there but and again it's you've got to evenly distribute the the mixture between the 12 cases now it's just sort of a little bit of guesswork so now I've got some mixture in each one of them I can top up the ones that are looking a little bit lower and then just I think they look pretty pretty even and then the final bit is we take our reserved cherries and just push it in the top and these want to go into the preheated oven uh, which we preheated to 400 Fahrenheit 200 Celsius uh, for around about 15 to 20 minutes so I'm going to set a timer for 15 minutes and then we will uh, we'll check them after 15 minutes what they should surfaces should feel springy so uh, Alexa set a timer for 15 minutes 15 minutes starting now by the way the artist Neil Diamond released new music would you like to hear it no Right, I'm just going to check my muffins after 15 minutes, see what they look like. And they should, yeah, no, they're not, they're not springing back up, so they're going back in for another two or three minutes. So 11.52, I'll check them at 11.55. We've almost had a total of 20 minutes. Some of them feel springy, some of them feel just a little bit soft. I'm just going to give them one more minute. So that's another minute up. I'm not going to leave them in any longer. I'm turning the oven off. Let me get these out. Yeah. See how that's springy now? Yeah, I'm happy with those. I think they look pretty darn good. So all that's left for me to do now, while these cool a little bit, I will put them onto a wire, uh, a wire tray to cool fully. But they just want to cool just a couple of minutes before you take them out of the tin. They should, they should come away pretty easy. Is I'm going to put a coffee on, and then I am going to have a cup of coffee and a fresh Paul Hollywood cherry and chocolate muffin. All right, let's pick a likely candidate. I'm looking, liking the look of this guy. Side. So we're still all there. We're still hot. We've still got a bit of steam in there. That's a that's a nice nice looking cross section. I think we've got a good combination of cherries and chocolate in there. It's so light and spongy. Now, do we go for the for the stump or the top? Well, I'm a I'm a top guy to start with. That is 
How long did they take? You know, probably the hardest thing is mixing the, uh, the sugar and the butter together. But once you've, uh, once you've done that, once you've got the, the butter and sugar combined, the rest of it is pretty easy and it really is worth the effort. Yeah, you can go out and buy some muffins, but they cost a lot of money and they're uh, full of preservatives and artificial flavours. You know what's gone in these and these are going to taste so much better because you've put the effort in and I think your uh, friends and family will appreciate them as well. These are fabulous.